拜六嘛。Are you happy？ 呢、yeah. 個禮拜好開心。Well, you, it should be a joyful week. 有冇好開心啊？呢個禮拜 ？Anyone is so joyful this week? 有時有係嘛 ？Yes, I know. 我哋我哋呢一幾呢幾個主日咧，我哋都會講呢個腓立比書。In the、uh, following Sundays, we will be talking about, talking more about the book of the Philippians. 咁啊，快樂咧係讓我哋不知時日過嘅。When you are happy and joyful, you will have no idea about how time flies. 時間係好快就可以過去啦。So time flies when you are happy. 所以要笑口常開。So I hope you are always joyful and happy. 無論點樣情況，你都要擘開個口笑一笑。No matter what, I want to. To be smiling from year to year. Yes, I know. When you smile, you look a lot better. Yes, you look good at all times. But then, when you smile, you look even better. The book of Philippians is a joyful book. 但係佢個喜樂咧，唔係人間嗰種嘅快樂。But then this, this kind of joy is not is not the type that is found in this world。係信咗耶穌所出嚟嘅一種嘅喜樂。It comes from the the kind that is available only to believers。係一個內在嘅 internal 嘅喜樂。It comes from internally。It's in, from inside to outside. Because we have Christ in us. When you have accepted Christ, we accepted Christ to us. So when you read the Bible and read the devotion every day, You will find yourself getting closer and closer every day to the Lord. So, when we open the Bible, the first chapter, 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 the first 誒嗰陣時，誒喺腓立比書寫嗰段嘅時間，希臘人咧係有一種嘅思想，就係唔好提嗰啲誒好嘅嘢，專諗啲好嘅嘢，你就會開心嘅。When the book of the Philippians was written,、uh, the current thinking of the Greeks was that you should focus more on the positive things and never mind about the negative things. 即係好似今日我哋成日都話。往好處想，啊，揾啲積極啲嘢。Just like contemporary thinking, we will think something more positive that is more enlightening than the and forget about the bad and negative things. 嗰啲衰嘅就唔好提啦。Never mind the ugly parts. 冚埋佢先啦。Put them under the carpet. 嗱，呢個係當時嘅哲學。And that is what was the current at the time of the Uh, book of the Philippians. And the same is for today, instant gratification. So, you can see some of the plays, or the good things, or the people who are looking for them, to see. So, that's why, that explains why comedians and uh, happy ending uh, presentations are all welcome. But then, this is fleeting. Because despite all these comedies, you still have the worries. Unless you accept Christ and let the indwelling spirit Help you to drive out all your concerns. 甚至呢，去同住跟住呢啲憂愁
你都去公傳，都有一日你將佢化成為呢個嘅喜樂祝福。Or you just live with the concerns, and then one day turn these concerns into joy. 環境冇變。Yes, the、um, situation may not be changing. 但係你嘅心境變咗。But then you can change yourself inside. 呢個喜樂。聖靈嘅引導之下，嚟到帶俾我。And this joy through the guidance of the Spirit will lead us that way。但要咁樣做咧，要有一種勇氣肯行出嚟先。But then to do this, you need to have the courage。保羅自己就係陷入一個困境，佢唔知道要再向邊一樹去建立教會。And、uh, Paul is in a difficult situation. He doesn't know where to turn to plant churches. He is earnest and devoted about the faith. He is knowledgeable and well equipped. Yes, he has a strong team. 使徒行传十六章就讲到佢当时去呢度又唔得，去到嗰度又唔得。In the book of Acts, chapter 16, he is, it was recorded that he was、uh, have, having a hard time not knowing where to turn. Until he he had this vision. Seeing in the dream that a man in Macedonia is calling him over to establish a church in the in Philippi, Paul 就嗱嗱声拎起架撑就冲过去腓立比嗰处。And Paul moved moved quickly and went to Philippi to establish the church. 佢系一个带住福音呢种嘅先锋部队嘅勇气。同埋伊路加醫生、提摩太，佢哋一齊誒、啊、就西拉入到去呢個腓立比嘅地方。Paul is a man of action. He together with Doctor Luke and Silas、uh, go to、uh, went to the went to Philippi. 但係佢去到腓誒腓立比呢個地方嘅時候，佢發覺冇猶太人嘅會堂。But then when he arrived at Philippi. He noticed that there was no synagogue, no synagogue for Jews. He 后来去到一班妇女洗衫嘅地方，河边向佢哋传福音。But then he came to a, a stream where women wash clothes. 对佢哋啲三个大男人嚟讲，实在系一个好大嘅一个挑战。To these three men,、um, Paul, Luke, and Silas, it was really a challenge. 啊，佢哋。以前咧真係亦都係我哋中國人一樣，男女授受不親，同埋男對男講，點會同啲姊妹講嘢咧 ？Because that they know they、uh, they are being men, it, it may hard, find it hard to speak to women。所以我哋一睇見呢兩段經文，我哋睇下第一點就睇到你要做福音嘅先鋒，一定會面對呢啲嘅難阻。So this is the first problem when you are a trying to be a pioneer. You would have obstacles. It is not only spreading the word to sisters. 更加当教会成立嘅时候，你就会遇到敌人。And moreover, when the church is established, you start to have enemies. 当时我哋睇见嘅教会兴旺嘅时候，鬼就走嚟搞鬼啦。When the church is vibrant. You will have more rivals and opponents. Paul 将个鬼赶走之后 ，When Paul drove out the demon， 嗰啲敌人就开始攻击佢，使到佢坐监。And、uh, he started to have attackers, and these attackers、uh, threw him into jail. 当佢坐监嗰段时间 ，When he was in jail， 佢唱诗赞美神。He sang praises to God. 而家門，因為佢嘅唱詩，連家門都打開。And because of his singing, the, the jail doors were thrown open. 
但係啲監等咧冇走出嚟。But then the jail inmates they didn't escape。佢哋反為坐喺度聽，繼續聽保羅同西拉唱讚美詩。But then the jail inmates would just remain in their cells and listen to the the praises being sung by Paul and Silas。大家記住，保羅當時。嗰、那個嘅環境係好惡劣嘅。Remember, Paul was in a bad and tough situation。因為當時嘅監獄係相當嘅，唔係好似而家咁係咁花廳啊，佢哋坐花廳。佢哋嗰陣時喺監獄係好難受嘅。Remember, in those days the jails were not regulated. It was really dungeon, in the poor condition. 唔單止係冇自由 ，they were not given any freedom. They were not free. 蛇蟲鼠係喺個地下爬嚟爬去。And the cells are were pasted with bugs and insects. 佢哋手上已經鎖咗木狗，坐咗喺度係唔喐得嘅。Their chains and their feet and hands are in chains. 而且之前係俾人打到半死。And before the imprisonment, they were beaten up. 我唔知大家而家在座嘅有冇人覺得自己全身都好似唔聚財嘅，又骨痛啊、頭痛啊、腳痛啊咁樣嘅話。I I don't know if any one of you here have the feeling of being beaten up with the aching bones and joints. 佢係直情俾人打到咧，真係要嗱嗱聲要揾人敷下藥啊、捉下藥走先得，但係佢就係唔喐得。But then the Paul was really bitten up, and uh, so he was in much pain, and he needs medication. But then this kind of punishment just brought him to his heart. But then Paul was not troubled by this situation. Instead, he was joyful. Paul was not troubled by this situation. Instead, he was joyful. Paul was not troubled by this situation. Instead, he was joyful. Paul was not troubled by this situation. Instead, he was joyful. Paul was not troubled by this situation. Instead, he was joyful. Paul was not troubled by this situation. Instead, he was joyful. Paul was not troubled by this situation. Instead, he was joyful. Paul was not troubled by this situation. If it was you, would you be singing Hallelujah? So, so this reading of the Bible is not a very comfortable reading. So, when you read this passage, you know that it is not in a light situation. It is in a very painful situation. It is in a painful situation. Unless you have Christ in you. 喺呢個場景裏邊，保羅同西拉體會到主耶穌釘十字架嗰種嘅痛苦。Here, Paul and Silas can have the experience of Christ being nailed to the cross. 佢經歷俾人拉入去差館嘅時候，嗰種嘅羞辱。They they experienced the insult when they were dragged away to to the judges. 睇見嗰啲法官、嗰啲衙門、嗰啲差役點樣將佢推佢、捧佢、打佢嗰種嘅經歷，就好似喺個惡他喺耶路撒冷耶穌基督受被審嘅時候嗰種嘅苦情。They experienced the similar suffering. Like Christ, when he was pushed around by officials and judges. So in the Bible, it says that these soldiers, soldiers, and all of them saw that Paul was suffering for the sake of the gospel. And in this passage, we notice that the imperial guard knows that why Paul was in prison. It is for his faith. So their soldiers and soldiers are going to the battle. 究竟呢個保羅犯咗咩錯，竟然俾人打成咁嘅咧 ？And then let the guards to ask among themselves why this man Paul was thrown into prison。就喺咁講話嘅之間，福音就帶咗俾佢。And through their conversations and dialogue, the gospel is slowly spread out。哦，原來佢喺嗰處開咗個腓立比浸信會。Oh, I see. He was there in the Philippines to establish a church. Ah, 有啲誒好多誒男男女女喺嗰度受浸。And lots of people, but men and women were being baptized. 係好多人都信咗主耶穌。And a lot of people turned to the Lord. 啊，耶穌係邊個啊 ？And accepted Christ. And who is Christ? 前排咧好多年，誒喺喺耶
耶路撒冷有乜嘢？佢哋驚死人，又話佢係神嘅仔喎。And uh, Jesus Christ、uh, was from Nazareth, and he claimed himself to be son of God. He was nailed to the cross. 咩回事啊？咁啊，個個地聽。But then what was going on? And they asked more and more. 咁樣談論當中，福音就傳開。And through their conversation and discussion, the gospel is slowly and steadily proclaimed. 佢哋可能亦都翻到去腓立比浸信會，問嗰啲弟兄姊妹。They may also、uh, went to the、uh, Philippine church and asked the sisters and brothers there. 查案嗰個差佬要寫落口供，就走去問下河邊嗰啲洗。And of course, the officials, when they are taking the statements, they may have to go to the streams、uh, to talk to the、uh, women washing clothes. They need to have all the documents recorded. And they have to record everything in their book. Because of that, it was recorded. The gospel also brought to some people to see the events of the time. And through their recording, other have a chance to know what is going on about the gospel. And the brothers and sisters, when they were asked about the matter, and、uh, what did the Bible say? In the verse 14, we'll know. They just stood silent, silently speaking the truth. And they got more confident, and they dared to ask and seek, and to get what they want to know. Their hearts were so filled with Paul, who was in the prison, 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 who was in the prison. And they know the reason why Paul was thrown into prison was that it is the way that the gospel is being spread out, and they take more confidence. And daring and fearlessly to spread the word. I am not sure whether you have given any thought about this person, Silas. And I would compare Silas to our music conductor, music director, G. He not only sings songs. Yes, he can write songs. He can sing, sing songs. He can sing, sing songs. He can play on the piano. 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 Maybe they are they are acquainted. So when they sing and echo the, the, the way they they behave, they they sing and echo the word the word is being spread out. So the second song, the third verse, is probably the song of the Lord's Prayer. That, that will lead to chapter two, and in the first few things, first few verses, that is the way how people in those days will praise God. We'll touch on that the next time. So from here, we know that if you want to be the gospel's pioneers, you have to take the first step. When you take the first step, those believers will be encouraged. And for the non-believers, because of how you behave, they will take heart and follow your step. So, as a first step, we must be like Paul. So to be a pioneer, we have to act like Paul to be submissive. Ah, very simple. In this PowerPoint, I show you one point for you to see. I would like to highlight several key points on the PowerPoint. Ah, this is the first step. Submission. 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 Submission.
能夠放膽嘅去傳道。And as for the believers, they will gain more confidence in Christ and dare to proclaim the gospel. 但係傳福音嘅時候，我哋難免會有啲對頭。When you are preaching the gospel, you would have opponents. 十五到十九節就講到有三種嘅對頭。And in verses 15 to 19, we have、uh, will have a chance to come across three types of、uh, critics and opponents. 邊三種咧 ？And which three? 大家睇聖經。Let's turn to the Bible. 第十五節點講咧？ In verse 15, it says, "If there are some who claim that the gospel is based on tradition and division, it says that people spread the gospel because of envy and rivalry, just like grabbing for business." Chinese, Chinese, people are very particular. Well, I think、uh, as Chinese, you may have a, a, a familiar feeling. 就係你喺度開餐館。That is,、uh, you open up a、uh, a restaurant. 轉個彎就有一間。And then around the corner, you see another restaurant. 咁你應該開兩間㗎啦。Okay, so we have two restaurants here. 中間又再開多間。And then further on, you still have another restaurant. 我哋記得我初嚟嚟美國嘅時候。I remember when I first arrived in the States. 有人就咁講。I was told. You want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. If you want to make people rich, you just open up a restaurant. But then the fact is, was that、uh, maybe seven or nine out of ten of them go bad. 成功嗰啲老細信耶穌，我哋就覺得好睇面。Those are who are successful and they believe Christ. We 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 know that we 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 thought that、uh, they deserve our praise. 其實失敗嗰啲咁需要福音。But then those who fail need the Gospel even more. Because they need to be rebuilt from the inside out. Because they need to have Christ in them to stand on their feet again. Second, the third type of critic is the one who is very critical. 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 And it is covered in verse 16. 到十七節咧有第三種人。And then 17, verse 17, we we come up to the third type. 有啲咧係出於自私同埋動機唔純正嘅。For this time, we have people who are proclaiming for selfish motive or insincere motive. 啊，為咗簡單起見，我用機心呢個字，即係動機唔純正嘅意思。And、uh, for this. They are simply put. They are insincere preachers. And this kind of insincerity And this kind of insincerity is most hurtful to Paul. Because the last verse, 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 These people were trying to give him more trouble in his imprisonment. Today's leaders are having a tough time. And being pioneers, you are prone to attack. So you are prone to attack. So how would you react to these attacks? 事實上真係好難。It's not easy。我咁辛苦走出嚟做嘢。Yes, I am trying to be a pioneer。你偏偏就喺後邊講嘢。And you are backstabbing。哎呀，唔做啦。Oh, I think it's time to give up。牧師，你揾第二個啦。Pastor, find someone else。出邊係咁樣。This is what is going on。我哋人與人之間
Oh, we do. An interpersonal relationship can be that way too. So how would you react and face it? Paul gave us a good answer in verse 18. Verse 16 says, And Paul said, no matter it is true or false motive, I won't care, I won't bother, because the gospel is spread. So he will see, so you will see that this kind of joy is not from, uh, from the human being, it comes from the spirit of the, of the Lord. Today when you try to spread the word, we have to hold this attitude. When we know the gospel is spread out, that will give us joy. I'll be 2065 and from young to old to now. <laughs> but I noticed that this special thing about a Baptist, Baptist church. Yes. Baptist Church is, uh, is democratic and, and we, we turn to meetings uh, for, for solutions. Because uh, it is a member-based member congregation. So if you are really a uh, Baptist uh, Baptist. Uh, Christians, uh, you will know how to conduct and uh, in meetings. And no matter whether it is in Hong Kong, Taiwan, or anywhere, whether you have uh, a revival meetings, the Baptist Church will also lead. When I look at the uh, sponsor for the events, uh, more, I notice more than half of them come from Baptist Church. Because you know, as long as the gospel is proclaimed, I won't care about whether you are doing it through salvage or true motive. All you have to do, come along and join us and let's do the work. But then for other denominations, they always stick to their, stick to their doctrine. But then for the Baptist pastors, they know how to make a uh, smooth ending. So in quite a lot of uh, revival events, you will see the uh, active participation by Baptist church members. And I'm not trying to boast the achievement by the Baptist, but then it is a, uh, an observation I want to share. As long as the gospel is spread, we will participate. So we So when you when you when you aim to spread the gospel, take heart and be more daring. And never mind about gossip by other people. Because we work with Christ in us. 
So when we are in us, we will be protected. So and it leads to a crisis to all situation. And before we move on to the third point, I would focus more on verse 19. Because I know this will lead to my salvation through your prayers and help from the Spirit of Jesus Christ. So I will be more courageous and uh, more daring to uh, spread the word. And because of this, Paul is torn between two choices, whether he should uh, uh, die and be Christ, or to stay and remain with the uh, people of the Philippians. And it is to the famous verse 21. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. When you are dead, what's good so what's so good about it? Of course, the body will be decaying and uh, rot. But then our spirit will be Christ. And uh, we know, we come across a saying that when you are dead, then you don't have to sin again. Oh, so that's a good thing about that. Because when you are dead, you can't sin anymore. And you won't be able to speak. And you won't be able to think. So, that's a good thing about that. No more troubles. And the woman, you won't have a chance to offend God. And also not to offend people. But when you remain, you have all ample opportunity to offend God and people. <coughs> but there is only one way out, that is to have Christ in us. When that happens, then people, your brothers and sisters, will be benefited. And let brothers and sisters on earth have the opportunity to spread the gospel. I want to share a story. And uh, it happened decades ago when things were not that well equipped and developed. It relates to an ICU where, where patients were not allowed to say anything, but they have to lie down there and, in, and keep quiet. And, uh, uh, so that they may uh, get back to their health quietly. Well, so when you are having your meal, you may talk to your neighbor. So there were two beds in the ICU. One bed is next to the window. And the other one is next to the door. 
And the um, the the one closest to the window will be able to see the outside. And uh, his neighbor next to the door will have to ask him repeatedly for what is going on outside. You can imagine they lie in their bed all day. Well, they, will, they feel bored. So he and the window patient would always describe to his neighbor that oh, it's a beautiful day, sun and the birds and fresh air. And he would describe good things going on outside. Painting a beautiful rosy picture. And, uh, and causing the neighbor full of joy and uh, hope. And it makes the um, other patient think that how good it would be if we can switch. One evening, the patient next to the window fell bad, fell sick. And he was unable to call for help from help from nurses. His neighbor next to the door actually can have a have the chance to call help from nurses. But then a thought flashed across his, his mind and then maybe I can take over his bed. He kept silent. So the uh, patient next to the window passed away. The patient, the, the living patient, was joyful. He said, Oh, my chance is here. Of course, he was able to be moved to close to the window. While there, he propped himself up and took his first view of the beautiful view outside. He found a wall outside the window. And he raised a question to the nurse, why a wall, not rosy pictures of beautiful scenery? And, uh, and, the, uh, and the nurse makes sure that he is sensible, he, he is being on, on his senses. A wall has been there for all the time. I think it is familiar to you. So what does it tell you? May the Lord be, have mercy on us. We sometimes have evil thoughts. But then, God help us to have a clear heart. Even we see, we face a wall, but then through this wall, we are able to paint a beautiful and hopeful picture for others. Yes, maybe I, I face a person without much hope. But may the Lord help us that through Jesus Christ we are able to see beyond 
this person to have a hopeful and beautiful future. 有時傳福音唔需要講好多大道理。When you preach, you may you may not have to be have a great learnings and thinkings about the Bible. 而係我哋本身內在有呢個喜樂平安。And let the joy and happiness inside be flow be flowing out to others. 讓周圍嘅人可以感受到，原來信耶穌係有希望。And let people around you know that there is hope in accepting Christ。我哋好似呢度第二十節裏邊講，無論生定死啊，都要讓基督喺我身上照常嘅顯大。原文係放大鏡咁意思。And in verse twenty, we know that. Whether we are alive or dead, let our body be honouring Christ, be exalting Christ. So, in the old song, we have a song saying that let us magnify the Lord. Because he is deserving our praises. I guess uh, maybe some of you know about this song. Oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. So there goes the song. <laughs> so sing more. Just like Paul. He sang when he was in prison. So when Jesus said, "Sing," that we sing aloud. So when you sing, you don't, you don't mind about being out of tune or else. This is a singing church. So people so when people ask Pastor Leo, well, what is our plan for next year? Well, this year, this Christmas, we don't have the program. Oh, then why not start singing? Singing hymns and songs. Go on practicing and uh, sing more. Let us equip ourselves. Sing to your kids and family. Let them have the opportunity to learn Christ and God through songs. So are you joyful to have Christ in you? Yes. Are you joyful to have Christ in you? So open your heart and let Christ in into you. And let this joyful spirit be opened up. So that you may believe in heart and sing in song. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. You ask us to be joyful all time. We know we have to pay a price to proclaim the word. There may be obstacles. We may have opponents. <coughs> and we have crisis. We're asking you to give us this heart to proclaim the word. Have us to see the joy when people are turning to you. And see and have the joy to know people have the opportunity to have the truth about life. And let us see your glory among us. We are thankful for your counsel. Strengthen us so that we may be able to do according to your will. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.